Welcome to Tech Tips, I'm Brittany, and I'm gonna show you a quick automation for turn taking. What this is, is a way to call on kids or assign them to do stuff in a way that's random and they're less likely to blame you. All right, let's get started. I got sick of calling on the kids and trying to remember who I'd called on before and having them argue. So I programmed a shortcut to take care of it for me. This was great on a few ways. One, it's not fair. Well, the app did it. Um, and two, I always let them start the shortcut. And instead of saying the teacher called on me, they started telling their parents about this cool game we played in class. It was really just calling on kids, but they called it a game and I wasn't gonna argue. The other benefit I really liked was that it would teach them about how random numbers really work because yes, when something is truly randomized, sometimes it's gonna call on the same kid three times in a row. That doesn't mean it's not random. And hopefully they would start learning a little bit more about randomness as just a side benefit. Here's a way you can assign things to kids or call on them or decide who's taking turns with what. So let's build it. Open up shortcuts. New shortcut, and we're gonna put in the list again. This time it's gonna have names of kids. So I'm gonna have Luke, Leia, Han, um, who else do I wanna include? All right, I have a lot of kids. Um, and what we're gonna do is gonna pull up the list actions and what we want is get item from list. So we're not choosing it, it's getting it. It's not the first one, it's a random. And again, we're gonna have it speak the text so we know it's gonna say it out loud. All the kids will know whether they can read or not who it is. But for the ones who can, we're gonna also show alert. It, all the alert is gonna say is we're going to use the item from list. This time we're gonna pull up a menu to decide are we calling another kid or not. Menu, we wanna choose from a menu. And this one's just gonna say, call on another kid. Yes, nope. I'm done. So two choices in the menu, which of course don't use autocorrect. And then if we need to run it again, all we're gonna do is run a shortcut. So the shortcut we're gonna run, first we have to name it. This shortcut is called turn taking. That's it. And we're gonna hit the three dots to edit it. And then we type in turn taking. And this is gonna actually run on a loop. Now to test it out, I'm actually gonna turn on show while running because it's kind of funny looking, but it actually takes longer, so I don't recommend doing it all the time. Luke, and run it again. Finn, and run it again. I feel like it gives you this cool visual of how it's stacking, um, but again, that animation takes time, so if you actually do things a lot, I don't recommend keeping it on. Okay. There we go. That's it. That's a turn-taking shortcut. I hope it helps reduce at least one squabble in your home then it'll hopefully be worth it. Thanks for joining me. Till next time. And the alert is going to say, get rid of that. Don't put that part in where I kept hitting the wrong button. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> it just closes all of them. I have a few I run like that.